Hello everybody, Andrea here with Dental L Mobile Hygiene. So this video is part of my children's dental decay. So I talk about children, dental decay, prevention, treatment. It's not as simple as just having them brush better. It truly isn't, um, but it is as simple as using the right toothpaste and getting a dental hygienist to come to you and monitor things for them. So in this video, I wanna to talk to you guys about, and I'm gonna share my screen, what happens if your child has decay like this? So can everybody see this okay? This is considered moderate decay, maybe even severe decay. So I always need to see your child in person to really know this is just simply a picture, but I wanna kind of show you guys to give you an idea. So they have decay right here. You can see the spots even in between the teeth and there's even chipping happening. Like the tooth has worn away from dental decay. I suspect there's larger decay on the inside of these teeth as well. So what happens, um, if you watched my first video, I talked about methods we can use to actually stop the decay from getting bigger until that child loses those teeth. So it does depend on the age of the child. But when I see decay like this, again, it depends on the age. And I say that because if they're going to lose those teeth in one month, then I can definitely help them. So what would I do? I would apply something to those teeth. It's a liquid called silver diamine fluoride. Feel free to do your research on that. It is an amazing product. Silver diamine fluoride, it's a liquid that I apply with a micro brush for two seconds. It's so easy and it will kill the cavity on the spot, okay? So it kills the cavity. The bacteria that's causing that cavity to get bigger, it kills that bacteria so it cannot get bigger. But the key is with this amount of decay, since it's moderate to severe, I would wanna come back in two weeks time to reapply that liquid just to make sure and then continue maybe a month after that. You know, you cannot do it too much, but you can do it too little. If I applied the liquid today and came back in six months, the liquid wouldn't work because that's active bacteria. A larger cavity means there's more bacteria in there. But that is what I would do if, the patient was going to lose their teeth soon. Let's say, and it's really hard to tell the age sometimes with just a few teeth here, but let's say they're going to lose those teeth in a year. Okay, I think more will have to be done. What I could do is I could put that liquid on those teeth, but it would stain those areas black because that's what the liquid does. It does have staining properties. It stains active decay. And with moderate to severe decay like this, it would definitely stain black. No parent wants their child's teeth to be black like that, but guess what? They're already brown. So it's kind of like, okay, yes, they're gonna look black, but it's either that, or you will have to go to the dentist to get them fixed. Um, the dentist probably wouldn't, I guess, want to fix this child's teeth without sedation, depending on the age and depending on the cooperation of the child. I always talk about, I try to avoid sedation in children, putting them to sleep um, unless they really need it. Like there's a mouthful of deep cavities and the child's in pain. It's better to get it all done at once. Try telling a three-year-old to sit still for two hours. It just doesn't happen. That's the only time that I would recommend sedation. But in this case, what I would do at the very least, so let's just say parents came to me and said, I'm afraid for my patient to go under, or sorry, for my child to go under sedation, but the dentist won't do it without sedation. What can I do in the meantime? The best treatment would be, I would apply the silver diamine fluoride on all of those areas. I would also apply a protective um, fluoride varnish over the teeth to prevent further decay in those teeth and the rest of the teeth. And I would come back in a couple weeks, monitor, see how things look, and then maybe every month after that. But I would also prescribe, let's see if I have it. Yes, a high strength fluoride toothpaste. So let me just stop sharing my screen and show you guys this. So I don't work for this company. I'm not getting paid to talk about this. This is what I use for my patients. Sorry, it's really sunny. I don't know if that's gonna focus. A high strength fluoride toothpaste with xylitol and fluoride in it. If your child's three, I know what you're thinking. Oh, I don't wanna give fluoride. What if they swallow it? Okay, fine, their tummy might be a little bit upset, but you know, the pros outweigh the cons. The pros would be they would get no more cavities if they're using a high strength fluoridated toothpaste, plus those cavities that they had will not get worse until those teeth are lost. So I would prescribe this 
and I would keep on coming back for that fluoride varnish, applying the silver diamine fluoride, doing whatever we can to make those cavities stay the same and not get worse, not cause the child pain before they lose those teeth. Because that's the thing about children. You don't necessarily have to fix the teeth, fill the teeth, because if they're going to lose those teeth in a couple months anyway, why spend the money to do it if they're just going to lose the teeth? But you have to do something. You can't just ignore it. A high strength fluoride and xylitol toothpaste. Xylitol helps to limit the bacteria and allows the fluoride a better foundation to attach. Without the xylitol, the fluoride works, just it can't penetrate as much. So you need xylitol too. If you guys haven't heard of xylitol, I talk all about it on my channel, have a look. But um, so we can't just leave it alone and say, yeah, we'll see what happens. A high strength toothpaste is needed. A dental hygienist is needed to come to keep applying the silver diamine fluoride, the um, fluoride varnish. Again, you guys, full, di full disclosure, I cannot diagnose. I need to be able to see them in person and I can give you a dental hygiene diagnosis on what's the best for your patient. Um, child, I keep saying patient, I'm sorry. I might say, oh, it's actually better for them to go to the dentist because the cavities are just too far gone. There's only so much I can do. But at least you know, you have a second opinion of what needs to be done. And my goal is to really protect those teeth until they lose them because they're children. So I hope this helps you guys. This is part of my series. Keep on watching. And I do hope this helps. Please message me, comment if you have any questions, and I'll see you guys in the next video.